Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Quest for Knowledge. Today we are going to learn second chapter in economics. After this video, I assure you, you're gonna uh, grab all the concepts, important concepts of economics, especially for the second PUC students. So let's get started. First, we'll understand the second chapter name, Theory of Consumer Behavior. It means we are going to understand the behavior of consumer. Okay, who is a consumer? A consumer is a person who buy things for himself or for his own consumption. His or her own consumption is called consumer. If you buy and if you give it to your family members or something, then it's you are a consumer. If you buy in order to resell it in order to earn profit, then you are not a consumer. So a consumer is the person who consumes the goods or commodity or service for oneself is called as consumer. So consumer behavior theory is the study how people make decisions when they purchase and how does it help the business and marketers to capitalize on those behavior by predicting how and when a consumer will make a purchase. So that is why you see, you no, know, whenever we go to shops and the person say this jacket is 2500 means our behavior will like, oh, we can't buy this. Okay, the same thing, 50% discount, 5,000 rupee jacket available in just 2,500 rupee. We will grab not one, but two or even three. So this is the behavior of a, of a consumer, which uh, they make decision on what behavior or on what situation they will make a purchase. And so and so we are going to study about the consumer behavior so utility so consumer will buy things based on to his or uh, her own utility so what is mean by utility utility means want satisfying power if you are hungry you went to a restaurant and ate food it means it has the want satisfying power as you were hungry you bought the food the food uh, satisfied your hunger the term economic utility refer to the total degree of satisfaction someone gets from using a product or service. It may be a car, it may be a house, food, clothing, financial services or housekeeping. Anything which satisfies want, want satisfying power is called utility. So now what is mean by total utility and marginal utility? So total means when you have the total consumption which a person derives from its consumption, the total satisfaction which a cons consumer derives from its consumption is called as total utility. Marginal, the word marginal means additional. So the additional utility derived by the consumer with the consumption of additional commodity. So that is the additional satisfaction with the consumer got with the additional consumption of the product is called as marginal utility. So utility is of two. One is the cardinal utility, another is the ordinal utility. Cardinal which can be measured, which are quantitative, ordinal which cannot be measured, which are qualitative. Concepts of utility, this is a very important question for your two marks, okay, and even for your four marks, so it would be better if you know this. So that is why the question will be asked, what is the difference between total utility and what is the difference between uh, sorry, marginal and total utility. So the sum to total of the utility is derived by a consumer by consuming all possible unit of a commodity at a point of time is called as total utility. The formula for the total utility is marginal utility 1 plus marginal utility 2 plus marginal utility 3 so on. When you add overall the marginal utility that is your total utility. So the, we have a direct relationship between a stock of a commodity and total utility. For example, if you had four apple, you ate four apple, that is your total utility. What is your marginal is first you ate one apple, another, and then you took another one apple, and then you took another one apple. So that will be considered as additional, additional utility is called as marginal utility. 
marginal utility additional utility derived by the consumer on consumption of an additional unit of an commodity is called as marginal utility formula is marginal utility n is equals to total utility n minus total utility n minus 1 so we have a inverse relationship between a stock of a commodity and marginal utility now we'll understand under this cardinal approach we have a very important theory which we'll call it as the law of diminishing marginal utility and it holds important six marks question what is the law of diminishing marginal utility very important question for your six marks so let's understand this the law of diminishing marginal utility holds that we the more and more we consume the less and less we want to have it it means the additional satisfaction which we derived from the continuous consumption of that goods decreases अगर एक चीज को हम बार 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 कंज्यूम करेंगे तो उसके बाद हमें उस चीज को कंज्यूम करने की चाहत नहीं रहेगी द मार्जिनल यूटिलिटी विल डिक्लाइन बट द टोटल यूटिलिटी विल बी इंक्रीजिंग हाउ एवर यू मे लव डेयरी मिल्क आप एक डेयरी मिल्क खा सकते हो दो खा सकते हो तीन खा सकते हो तो आपने टोटल चार खा लिए तो वो हो गया आपकी टोटल यूटिलिटी जो एक्स्ट्रा एक्स्ट्रा आप खाते गए जैसे कि एक आपने एक्स्ट्रा लिया फिर एक आपने एक्स्ट्रा लिया फिर एक आपने एक्स्ट्रा लिया ये हो गया आपकी मार्जिनल यूटिलिटी जितना आप एडिशनल खाते जाओगे उसकी सेटिस्फैक्शन कम होती जाएगी ओके द लॉ ऑफ डिमिनिशिंग मार्जिनल यूटिलिटी एज मोर वी कंज्यूम Uh, and commodity the less satisfaction we derive from the additional unit of the commodity it means the additional satisfaction declines with every additional consumption of the product so that is called as law of diminishing marginal utility so this theory is formulated by german economist gossen this law is called as gossen first law later alfred marshall popularized it there is certain assumption for this law unit of commodities consumed should be identical there should be no time gap it should be continuous consumption consumer is a rational person wo kya hai matlab hi hai wo chahta hai ki kam paison mein zyada se zyada usko satisfaction mile consumer is rational other things being equal like taste preference income of the consumer and the price of the substitute goods all remain same or as per this theory we believe that utility jo hai wo measure kar sakte hain we can measure the utility so this is very important table and this diagram you have to do it you have to draw this in a to get six marks okay so that it shows you ki jitna apple aap consume karoge utna aapki total utility to badhti jayegi magar marginal utility ghatti jayegi so you have to write the more the consumption of the apples the total utility increases but the marginal utility decreases reaches to zero and then turns negative total utility increases Increases, moves to a saturation point, and then start to falls. The same diagram also. Sorry, the same. Uh, so here you can see, as per the table, as per the table itself, we can we are going to draw this diagram. So the total utility increases, increases, moves to a saturation point, and then start to fall. The same explanation you have to write it after these diagrams. But you can see the marginal utility. It is in the highest point. It start to fall. It reaches to zero, and then it turns negative. So this is the. So this is the diagram. Okay. After this. we need to give an explanation so very easy example we are going to give that is the example of a college girl a college girl comes home and she started drinking water to quench her thirst first glass of water gives her great utility when she drinks second glass of water the extent of thirst should have reduced therefore she will derive less utility if she takes third glass of utility utility will be less than the second glass and this way additional utility of extra glass of water will go on decreasing if she continues to take more glasses utility from extra glasses of water will diminish fall to zero and then becomes negative so when marginal utility falls but is positive total utility increases in a diminishing manner 
when marginal utility is zero total utility is at its maximum when marginal utility is negative total utility starts to fall by this we have completed a very important six marks if you study from here from here this is the uh, introduction and then these are the assumption and these are the table and diagram and then the explanation of the law if you give a conclusion in the last what is the conclusion the more and more you consume the less and less you want to have it in order to that total utility will increase and move to a saturation point and then it will fall marginal utility will be in its highest and it will start to fall it will turn to zero sorry it will become zero and then turn to negative if you write this conclusion that is it you are easily gonna get six marks okay this is important six marks question law of diminishing marginal this one is the important question law of diminishing marginal utility this is important four marks question this is important two marks two marks or one mark question and that is it one part of theory of consumer behavior is done today and very soon i will i'm going to explain the another part where we'll be discussing all the ordinal approach indifference curve map etc in the coming videos so stay tuned learn the concept and write based on your understanding don't go with the mug up which economics doesn't you cannot get good score unless you don't understand the concepts if you do like my video like share and subscribe share it with your friends and do comment your suggestions in the comment box and please support to my channel and thank you so much for watching